Who's going to fight for gun owners in Wyoming for the next four years as the next governor? Mary Throne or Mark Gordon? You guys decide. Hi guys, Aaron Dore here with Wyoming Gun Owners. And as you guys know, we've been doing a lot to educate gun owners about where Mary Throne and Mark Gordon stand when it comes to your gun rights. And we're hearing online and other places that Mary Throne is not very pleased with us and doing all she can to run away from her record. So this video, the last update we're gonna do prior to the midterms next week is gonna be the definitive video update that gun owners have to see when it comes to Mark Gordon versus Mary Throne on the Second Amendment. I hope that once you guys watch this, you will of course be able to take action on your own based on that, but also that you can share this video with every gun owner you know. It's important that people know where the candidates stand. A lot of times it can, it can kind of be easy to say, well, it's Wyoming, so this is not really gonna be a very competitive election. But that's just crazy. You know, as you guys know, the previous governor in this state was a Democrat who was no friend to gun owners. You know, our neighbors in South Dakota right now uh, are having a dead heat race with a radical anti-gunner versus a, a, a probably a pretty good pro-gun candidate. So th in this day and age, Age, we can't take anything for granted. And that's why WIGO is working so hard to inform gun owners so you guys know the truth. And here is the truth. See, Mary Throne is trying to use cliches and one-liners and, oh, my dad was a hunter. And she's trying to run away from the facts. And what we have here are a whole bunch of facts. So first, the good news, the good news. As you guys know, we surveyed every candidate in this gubernatorial process back in the primaries and Mark Gordon surveyed with us 100% pro-gun. We asked him some of the following questions. We said, look, gun-free zones in government buildings get people killed. We all know that. Every mass shooting we've seen in the last 10 years, almost every single one has taken place in a gun-free zone. So if elected, would you sign into law legislation that repeals so-called gun-free zones in areas where the state government has control, knowing that they only benefit armed madmen looking to rack up a body count? Would you sign that? And Mark Gordon on paper said yes. We said, would you veto red flag gun seizure orders or similar bills that would deny law-abiding Wyoming citizens their gun rights without due process through a court of law. Would you oppose that? And he said, yes. We asked him, if elected, would you sign or veto universal background check legislation? These are the bills being pushed by Michael Bloomberg's people, which would create a great big database of gun owners in Wyoming. They're very good at doing that, but they don't stop any violent crime. We've seen this happen time and time and time again where these mass shootings, the shooter went through or bypassed a background check. So would you as governor sign or veto universal firearms registration? He said he would veto it. Very good answer there again from Mark Gordon. We asked Mark Gordon, would you protect, would you sign into law or veto into law legislation that would call for the ban of the AR-15. In other words, would you protect our AR-15s? And he said he would veto any bill that would try to make AR-15s or 30-round magazines illegal in Wyoming. We asked him another question. You know, many states now are moving forward legislation that would take away guns from those who are under the age of 21. So you could have already pulled a two-year tour in the military and come back home to, to, to Wyoming. And now, even though you're, you're an adult, you've served two years in the military, maybe you just got married, maybe you just bought a house, you can't have a firearm because you're not old enough yet. Absolutely absurd. We said, would you sign or veto that kind of a bill? He said he would veto it in a heartbeat. We asked him, would you sign or veto uh, mandatory waiting periods, knowing that all that does is endanger innocent people who need firearms for self-defense? He would veto that bill. We said, would you protect constitutional carry and stand your ground law? Would you, would you protect them and veto any bill that would repeal them? And he said, yes. So every question we asked Mark Gordon when it comes to our gun rights, he knocked it out of the park. Every question, every time, 
And it wasn't just some kind of a, you know, a, a one-line conversation at a forum. He wasn't just posting online. He signed our survey on the literal dotted line. Perhaps you guys can see it right there. And of course, we're, we have this available right now on our website. You guys can print it off and look at it yourself. This is, this is for the world to see. Mark Gordon did not hide his views on gun rights when he signed this survey. So every question that we asked him, again, Every question, Mark Gordon has been 100% pro-gun. That's the good news. That's the good news. But here's the bad news. Because Mary Throne has been, in every situation, an enemy to your gun rights during her time in the State House. And she's doing all she can right now. Uh, her, her allies, her sycophants trying to hide the facts. And what they're saying is that, well, I never voted for gun control. Well, that may or may not be, but what you also did, Mary, was you always voted against pro-gun bills. And opposing our gun rights is the same as supporting gun control. It's the same thing. We all know that. Trying to deny that makes you sound like a, like a child, like a child. So here are some of the bills that Mary Throne opposed during her time in Cheyenne. HB 95 on March 3, 2010, she voted against this bill, which would allow firearms manufactured in Wyoming to not be subject to federal firearms laws. Of course, this was a big deal back in the Obama administration. And the idea was that if the guns are made here in Wyoming and they're sold here in Wyoming, they're not subject to interstate commerce clause laws and therefore we're not required to submit to federal gun control. This bill moved quickly Mary Throne opposed it. That's just one time. All right, HB 207, February 9, 2011. Mary Throne voted against this bill, which would allow employees to leave their firearms secured in the parking lot at their employment if they couldn't carry at work. This bill moved very quickly, had bipartisan support, and Mary Throne voted no. She voted no on your gun rights. Mary Throne voted against constitutional carry. Uh, February 25, 2011, Senate File 47. You see, we have facts, dates, bill numbers, details. You guys can look them up yourself and you can see if we're lying or Mary Throne's lying because we have the information. So she voted against constitutional carry. Absolutely inexcusable. That was on, let's see, February uh, 25, 2011. February 1st, 2013, Mary Throne voted against a bill that would allow for the concealed carry of handguns on campuses. Of course, we all know gun-free zones are killing fields, and we know that having law-abiding citizens, teachers, you know, administrators, adult students, having the means of self-defense, that's how you stop violent crime. And Mary Throne voted that down. Mary Throne voted against Legislation, this is House Bill 103 on February 1st, 2013, that would require state approval of local gun control. As we know, the idea of home rule can be very, very dangerous when it comes to our gun rights. We have a state government for a reason. We have a state constitution for a reason. And when local city or county entities try to violate our gun rights, this bill simply said you had to get state approval first and Mary Throne voted no. So again, if enacted, this would allow any state government, I mean, any city government or county government in the state to say, screw you to our state mandated gun rights and pass their own gun control. That's what Mary Throne supports. Couple more here, House Bill 104, February 1st, 2013. She voted against the Firearms Protection Act, a similar bill that would nullify federal gun control in Wyoming. February 13, 2013, uh, Senate File 132, silencers for Wyoming. Mary Throne voted no. And finally, Mary Throne voted to maintain deadly gun-free zones in government buildings. House Bill 114 on February 2nd, 2015. Every single chance she's had to stand up for the Second Amendment, to stand up for you and I, Mary Thrun has stuck a knife in our back as gun owners in Wyoming. That is the record. That is the truth. As you saw here, this is not just a one-time deal. She didn't just have a bad day one time in Cheyenne. This record spans 
from 2010 at least into 2015. So multiple terms, multiple, multiple, multiple terms in the state capitol, Mary Throne has always been there to attack your gun rights, to vote against pro-gun bills, and do everything she can to weaken our God-given right to keep and bear arms. So these are the facts that Mary Throne is trying to hide from. We're hoping that all you guys who watch this video share this on your personal Facebook page. Put it on your page, uh, put it on your blog. If you're part of the county uh, Republican Party, you can put it there. If you're part of the county Democratic Party, you can put it there. We don't care. Any place you can help us get this video seen by more gun owners, we hope you'll do that because Again, we can't take anything for granted right now, especially with so many of our gun rights on the line from a candidate who we know would do all she can to repeal uh, Wyoming's major gains like stand your ground law, constitutional carry, and so much more. We, you know, Wyoming has been a, a bright spot in the national landscape this year. As you guys know, I do gun politics in a number of states, and 30 days to the day, is when Wyoming passed Stand Your Ground Law 30 days after the Parkland, Florida shooting. And while so many pro-gun states, so-called, ran away in fear and tucked their tail and ran away from our gun rights, Wyoming stood strong and passed a major pro-gun bill. We can't go back to the, to the old days and the old ways where we were afraid of our gun rights and, and, and that we as in lawmakers rather didn't do anything to defend them. And Mary Throne will attack our freedoms. That is her policy. That is her history. She can try to reinvent the facts all she wants, but she is an out and out enemy to gun owners. Guys, please show this video and have a great day.